Ever since I was a teenager, I've had relatives that have just disappeared, women, and they've never found them. And then now it's getting more, there's more now. It's just, I just can't believe how many women, children are missing. I have two daughters of my own. I come from a family of women and I just can't even imagine if one of my daughters was missing, let alone somebody else's, so. I ride for the future generations. And mostly every family that I've known, they, they have somebody missing or somebody murdered. The extraction corporations that are in control of the environment, of the land, what happens to the land, it's no longer federal policy or governmental policy, state policy. It's what the corporations decide. So right now there's no laws or ordinances or anything to protect the water and the air and the land. We're always in the crosshairs as a people because we're land-based. So these are the things we have to do to rally our people, but also to create awareness. Because we know what's coming with the man camps. It's putting all of our people in danger, all of our, our young people especially. We do what we have to do, and we call on the strength of our ancestors. That's the driving force. We know what's coming. We know that, that the corporations support these kinds of, this kind of violence and this kind of rape of the earth and women. The man camp that's around in this area, it's going to be ready to go in January. And we're already seeing the, seeing the effects of human trafficking on and around our reservation. We know what we're up against, so we're asking, we're asking our people and our water protectors and whoever else, it's time to protect our women and children now. That's why we need to follow our matriarchs. They, they know what's going on. They guide us in a good way with their experience.